Alright guys. I'm just getting ready to work on the dodge trail. <sighs> I need to tune my carburetor soon. It's running pretty bad. I mean, it runs fine, but it kind of is bogging a little bit, and it backfires to the intake, so I'm believing the timing is off a of hair. <clears throat> I got an oil filter and some oil, so I'm doing oil change soon. I've already put about 2,000 miles on the truck, and, you know, you want to change it every 3,000 miles, so... melt stuff again. But I'm just working on my air conditioning system right now. Well, I mean, what I have of <laughs> an air conditioning system. I'm going to try to put a pump in soon, a uh, compressor and some hoses. It's not going to be too expensive. Oh, the compressor goes right here. I'm going to have to build something. I'm just going to have to build something, you know? I don't know. I don't even know if this is long enough right here for the compressor. Um, it couldn't. It could be long enough, but I'm not sure. Um, I need a new clutch fan. Mine is seized. It's seized. So. Yep. Need to do an oil change. Uh. Edelbrock high rise air intake. Mm hmm. Stock headers. I'm going to change that. I'm going to put non stock headers on it. <laughs> uh. I'm going to see how this is working over here. <clears throat> Uh, here's the problem. Uh, freaking rust. Mm hmm. Oh well. Yep. Well, not this battery. Another battery fell on the exhaust. <laughs> it's pretty much destroyed the side of the motor. The spark plug wires are all eaten up. In fact, this spark plug wire was so bad it was arcing out. I'm going to just put new spark plug wires on it like the day before the battery fell down. It's so. <clears throat> pretty pissed about that. Pretty pissed. You know what? I'm wondering if I have enough room to put my... Y'all are going to have to give me some tips. I wonder if I have enough room to put my air conditioning compressor uh, down there. I don't think I have enough room over here down there. I would like to put it down there. But there's the radiator hoses in the way and stuff. and You've got the uh, oil cooler lines over here that are in the way and everything. So... Um, I'm thinking, like, down there, that would be kind of ideal, you know, make a bracket, because, like, I don't shake you can, but, like, if I fit it, you know, just right under here, I might be able to get something going through there, because there's not the heads in the way I can slip it under by the, uh, oil pan. It's like, oh, this shit in the way over here. I got the alternator bracket and stuff. I would like to put it over here, but I'll just have to get the compressor and see. I'll have to do something. And then, you know, like I said, I would like to put it over here, but I don't know where the hoses go. I don't know how long the hoses are. They might, I think, are stock that the compressor was mounted right here. If it was mounted right here, then I should have enough hose to go down to there. You know, even if I have to get rid of my clutch fan and put a uh, electric, I will. <clears throat> but, um, 
I need a new radiator soon too. Focus. Mine is leaking pretty bad. Pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got y'all zoomed away in, don't I? Oh, and speaking of leaking. <laughs> Drip. It's a little wet over there, too. I haven't even run it today. By the way, if you haven't got one of these radiator caps, highly recommended. <clears throat> but, I need to get some new valve covers, some aluminum valve covers. And some um, new. And the idiots that installed this didn't get the freaking valve cover washers, so. Idiots, they freaking bent the valve cover and it's leaking oil in the back. Freaking get this nut off. God damn. One bad thing about having some stupid shit on here. Look at that. If I had a wing nut, it would already be off. Idiots. She is just a Holly. Holly four barrel. Not much about him. Hmm. It's not too clean. I have to do some cleaning up in here. Mm hmm. Yep. See where it's been leaking oil right there. Right on that back bolt. Not a bad truck. But, uh, I need some tuning. Need some serious tuning. <laughs> this old holly. I believe it's, I'm not sure. It's a smaller holly, which apparently is good for Mopars, because if you have a bigger carburetor, it's worse. With Mopars, they say smaller carburetors, well not smaller carburetors, but basically what they're saying is too big, it's too, is not, <laughs> too big is not enough horsepower. And uh, smaller horse, like smaller carburetors, you can actually produce more horsepower out of a smaller carburetor than you can out of a bigger carburetor, with a Mopar for that matter. Fuel filter's looking nice and pretty. I installed that a few weeks ago. Been having some fuel problems, so I think I finally got everything set nice. <clears throat> my back. I got a couple of fuel filters, and one of my back fuel filters keeps clogging up, so that might clog up soon. Who knows? It's under there. I don't feel like getting there. I don't feel like laying on this hot ass flatbed and show you all, but. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, and I need to fix the rust. So, yeah. I need to get y'all up there. I don't know if y'all can see it. I can't see the screen, but. Yep. Looks like y'all can see it. I can't even see it from here. But, uh, 
There you go. We got some Alcoas. Nice tires. That's pretty much it. I'll catch you all later. On the old Dodge.